you're doing Duff here. Uh, before I start the video, I just wanted to um, let people know. I know a lot of people have didn't watch the, uh, the the chicken update. You know, not that many people are into chickens, but um, in that update, I talked about our one hen, Lucy, uh, who um, had been sick and she, she had some sort of growth under her wing. Took her to the vet and everything, and um, she just uh, she passed away early this morning. So, R.I.P. Lucy. Very sad. So I'm actually on my way to uh, the Naples Greenway. I've been since I ever uh, ever since I got the one wheel. I've been wanting to ride there. Thought it'd be uh, really scenic and uh, a little uh, different as far as the terrain and stuff goes. And I just thought it'd be a great place to try to ride the wheel or the wheel, the board. I do that a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way there. I did want to mention that. Uh, the day that I shot that video of me riding the one wheel around the backyard, I actually went out and tried all of the different modes that the, that, um, the board has, which is something I had been saying that I wanted to do for a long time, because up until that point I had only ever tried mission mode. So, um, while I'm driving here, I just want to give my, my thoughts, my feedback on how those modes felt. Um, I went in order. First I did Sequoia which is the beginner mode. And uh, I was really, really surprised at how different that felt. Um, obviously you have a, the, the, the speed is lower, the top speed in Sequoia is 12 miles an hour, but what I couldn't believe is how, how much, um, it was more resistant to tipping, basically. Like, like uh, it wanted to stay upright, it did not want to lean back and forth. Um, and I'm not sure how they do that, but uh, I, I can definitely see how it would be advantageous to a beginner. Um, so yeah, that, I think that's if um, I'm ever going to have someone get on a board, I might have them try Sequoia mode first because it definitely felt the, felt the most stable of any of the modes that I tried. Um, I tried the, uh, is it called hill mode? I, I, don't, I don't know the technical name for it. It's the mode that's supposed to be designed for climbing hills where the nose is pitched up permanently. Um, I hated that. I used it for all of 30 seconds and said, screw this, I'll never use that again. Um, cruise mode, I think it's called cruise. Um, I didn't really get that. It, it kind of seemed like, like mission mode, but just with a lower speed limit. I really didn't see the, the point of cruise mode. Um, and of course, mission, I've been riding all along. And uh, then I, I tried delirium. And I, I have read other people saying how, you know, that delirium, I don't like the way it breaks so hard and I don't, it's too twitchy or whatever. I actually like delirium a lot. Um, not only is the braking very strong, but the acceleration is very strong. It's, uh, it's, it's noticeably stronger than uh, mission mode to me. And um, I really liked it. There, there's a good chance that I might be riding in delirium uh, more often than mission. So, um, yeah. It's kind of interesting to try those different modes and we'll see how it goes. I also reached out to uh, Future Motion regarding the um, apparent issues that I've been having with my front sensor pads, where uh, I'll get off the board and the um, and it will continue to roll away from me. I, I documented it three times on camera in total, and it's happened uh, much more than that. And um, I sent an email to the support email address and followed it up with a phone call because it was like three days I didn't hear anything back from the email. And uh, the gentleman I talked to, I think his name was John, Jonathan, something like that. Uh, he was very nice. And he sent me a procedure that you're supposed to follow to test those front uh, foot pad sensors. So I haven't done it yet. I'm going to probably make a, a separate video on that. But I did watch a video of someone doing it. Basically, what you're doing is you're turning the board on, you're lifting it up to its level, and then you're applying the pressure on those front pads with your hand, basically. And while the board is in the air, you're tipping it forward to simulate um, forward motion, and then you um, are stopping it and then uh, raising your hand off certain areas of the pad to simulate what your foot would be doing. And based on those results, that's kind of how they check to see if the pad is functioning correctly or not. So I'm going to be doing that, um, like I said, on a separate video, maybe, to, maybe today, maybe this week, I'm not sure. Oh, and you guys, <laughs> you guys will get a kick out of this. Guess what else I ordered? Uh, this week, you'll never guess. 
somebody might. Well, I, actually, there's one person that'll guess because I kind of told him already. Um, I ordered a uh, electric skateboard, a Nepo to be exact. It's a uh, it's a brand that um, has generally overall rev uh, positive reviews. Missile Drop Kick, who is a subscriber on my channel and he's uh, in our live chats a lot. Uh, he actually is the one that brought it to my attention. Um, it has you know, good range, good power, and uh, good components overall, but uh, price-wise it's much more reasonable. So I ordered it directly from the Meepo website. I ordered the 41-inch kickboard style board, and uh, I, just, I just opted for the regular battery, which supposedly has a range of somewhere around 11 miles maximum. So that should be fine, and it, I believe it is a swappable battery, so you can always put the higher... Uh, capacity battery in later if you want to. So, um, Cindy's excited about it, and I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not nuts about it, but I am kind of excited because um, just based on, on how I've been enjoying the one wheel, I'm curious if I'm going to enjoy an electric skateboard uh, in a similar fashion. And I'm also curious how difficult it will be for me to ride. I'm thinking that I'm kind of cutting my teeth on a one wheel as far as the body move, movements required. I'm sure they're slightly different on an electric skateboard, but it should be similar, I hope. So We'll see. But yeah, that's coming to Channel 2. I, I, I assume we'll have pretty much every, every type of uh, personal electronic transportation device there is. So, yeah. Okay. And finally, one more uh, piece of news. Uh, those of you that have been worried that I am abandoning EUCs because you've seen nothing but one wheel content for about the last month or so, uh, no worries. I actually got a ship notice uh, from uh, Jason at E-Wheels on my Kingsong 18L. Last time I checked, it is in Louisiana, and I'm supposed to have it no later than Thursday, but if it's in Louisiana already, I might have it sooner than that, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to have my 18L real soon, and I will be doing a lot of of uh, testing and riding on that. So uh, those of you that have been looking for that, it's coming very soon. All right, so I made to the Greenway. The, um, the skies are a little bit foreboding. Uh, looking like it wants to rain, but uh, hopefully it'll hold off until I'm done. So I'm just gonna pad up here and we will be off. All right, we are out and rolling on the boardwalk. side. My goal is just to do the entire greenway path and back and I am in uh, delirium mode right now. Feels good. The, uh, the acceleration in delirium feels very very similar to a, a strong EUC. I mean you step on it this sucker it takes off. Now it does still start pushing back at 15 but that first 15 um, I, I'd almost want to go head to head with uh, the 18L and see uh, who wins a, a race to 15 miles an hour. This might win. Do the animals? some uh, monkeys and I just heard, I don't know, a rhino or something like that. Naples Zoo is actually uh, quite a nice little zoo. Now, I guess with delirium you get less range, you know, it's, you use battery faster generally than you would in missions, so I guess that's one possible drawback, but otherwise I like the way delirium feels. like a scene out of Jurassic Park. goes as planned, I will be going all the way to the beach. Hopefully. I am excited to be getting the 18L. You're going to see a lot of riding because um, I need to push to get to 200 kilometers 
on the wheel as soon as possible to unlock the top uh, 50 kilometer an hour top end. So, yeah, you'll, you'll be seeing me in my white 18L quite a bit. You might get sick of it. It's definitely feeling like rain. It's close. So hopefully I can get there without getting wet. We'll see. The, um, the pushback on this, it feels slightly different. I know it's still the same speed, but the way that it comes on, it feels less less annoying than the uh, pushback in Mission. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining things, but the pushback does feel different in Delirium. Temporary trail. Oh, okay, the temporary trail that leads past the construction area up here is going to be closed for four days, starting on the 30th, which I think is tomorrow. So, I'm glad I'm doing this now. So this huge mound is part of the um, the kick-ass park that they're supposed to be building in this area. It's, it's going to be just a great, great, great thing for the community. I'm not sure when it's supposed to be done, but uh, it's, I've seen some of the uh, plans for it, and it just looks great. Can't wait. Can't wait till Cindy's feeling better and uh, is able to try the one wheel more. She would just love this. She really would. It just, she just needs to um, put the time in to get comfortable on it, but she would absolutely love this. Exiting to the uh, downtown Naples area. These little gullies and ramps don't give me as much trouble as uh, they used to, but uh, I still got to keep my toes when I go across them. That was a little nerve wracking. I was trying to make that light and uh, I was going damn close to 15, and there was a gully at the bottom there. And uh, yeah, got a, got a nice little bounce, but uh, stayed on the board. traffic lights and uh, a few blocks from the beach and no I will not be riding my one wheel on the beach sorry I like it too much Thing I need to be able to, to do better is just uh, stand in the board still, you know, just keep it in balance mode, but, but just stationary. Not very good at that. And in theory, it shouldn't be that hard, but uh, you know, I can't do it very consistently. This road here isn't in the best of shape, so you have little like gullies and, and drops that kind of sneak up on you, so I gotta pay attention. Keep my ankles loose. This would be a very interesting thing to try on the electric skateboard eventually as well. I'm not sure how it would do. The smaller wheels that's that was always the drawback to me with electric skateboards is you need a smooth surface but you see so many people riding them in like new york city and the roads up there are terrible and they still manage to do it somehow so maybe it's not quite as limiting as i think it is I just love the acceleration in uh, delirium man it's, it's a lot better so much better so i just did a quick battery check and i'm at like 76 percent battery left after riding all the way to the beach so that's not bad at all pretty darn good that's a little hairy. I just hit the um, the bowl around a uh, a sewer cover unexpectedly, and it 
It uh, wobbled me quite a bit, but I did not go off, so it's good. You know you're making improvements when you can recover from um, unforeseen obstacles and uh, not eat shit, so it's good. All right, made it past the traffic lights once again and heading back on the Greenway path. Hauling ass on a tandem bike. beyond my pushback speed. I just love heel side turns. Much more than front side. Okay, I have a new color stand that's going to be getting up in the store this week. It's called Merlot Red. As in the wine. It's a cool color. So been waiting for something different to hit the hit the store other than uh, you know grays and blues and blacks and whites uh, it's definitely a different color so take a peek also um, I think I mentioned a while ago that I, I had made a um, TPU flexible filament um, charge port cover for my uh, one wheel and I actually made a bunch of them and sent out probably four or five to people uh, for free just to test them and um, unfortunately I only heard feedback from one guy so far and he said that he couldn't get it to fit right which was weird to me because it fits my XR nice and nice and snug um, he made it sound like it was too big but then I followed up I wanted to, to verify if this uh, guy had an XR or one of the older one wheels you know a plus or an original um, and I never heard that confirmation so I know if someone watching this video might be able to tell me if the, the charge plug hole is slightly different in size on an XR compared to the older models, because um, if it is, that would explain it. This thing really does have good power. We're going up this hill. It's not... Oh, I forgot to mention, guess guess what? Marty is actually borrowing his friend's one wheel soon, within the next couple weeks, I think. So I'm really interested in seeing what Marty thinks of the one wheel. He seems to think that, you know, he's not going to like it. It's slower and stuff, but uh, I think, uh, I don't know. I think Marty might be a convert. Heard it here first. Definitely needed this today. Super sad about uh, Lucy and the way that whole thing shook out. You know, I'm not going to detail the whole thing in the video, but um, yeah, it was, since Thursday, uh, it's been uh, all about chicken health and uh, yeah, not, not fun. All right, I already made it back to the parking lot, but I didn't want to stop yet, so uh, I'm out on uh, Golden Gate Parkway. Just going to ride a little bit more, not much. Actually, over there is another park that has a boardwalk, Freedom Park. I've never ridden there. Um, I'm not going to do it today, but yeah, I, I need to do that. I've never ridden EUCs there either, so it might be fun. It's not as uh, long or as, I don't think it's as nice as the Greenway, but uh, it's nice. I'm actually just going to snake all the way around to uh, go to the Frank Road, make a left, and I'll be coming in the zoo again, just from the other direction, and then I can get back that way. So far, my ride's been about eight miles, and uh, I still have 65% battery left. Good in delirium. Here, just watch this. I'm going to lean on this pretty hard. It, just, it grabs big time. All right, I'm going back for real this time. All right, I'm back. 
that was that was a lot of fun, man. The Greenway is a great, great place to ride the one wheel. Let me tell you, that was my that was my uh, favorite ride so far. Um, and with Delirium, I'm I'm loving Delirium. I just I checked the app before I turned off the board. I actually set a new top speed on this. My top speed prior to today was 15.6 miles an hour. Now it's 16.9. Like I said, there's something different about the way the pushback comes in on Delirium that it's easier easier for me to, to ride a little bit faster. So it's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm all Delirium all the time unless I'm really trying to push mileage or something. So but that's it. Um, if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, you'll see lots and lots of one wheel, EUC, 3D printing, car repair, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but anyways, if any of that stuff interests you, you might want to consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it very much. Oh, and by the way, just talking about subscribers, I'm like 15 away from 4,000, I think. And I just had 3,000 uh, late last year, so um, the channel is growing at a good pace, and I'm very appreciative to anyone that, uh, that is a subscriber. So yeah, if you want to join that, that crew, hit that subscribe button below. That's all I got for you for now. Until next time, stuff me now.